The quarterback, often referred to as the field general, is the decision maker on the gridiron. A true leader, the quarterback's responsibilities include calling plays, assessing the defense, and orchestrating the offense. Picture this, as the quarterback stands behind the offensive line. Their eyes scan the field, analyzing the defensive formation to make split-second decisions that will determine the course of the game. So, what does it take to master the quarterback position? Precision passing is the cornerstone. The quarterback's arm is a lethal weapon, capable of threading the needle with pinpoint accuracy. But it's not just about arm strength. A successful quarterback possesses the ability to read the field like a chess grandmaster, anticipating the moves of the opposition. Think of it as a mental game of chess played at lightning speed. Now, let's hit the practice field. Sharpening your skills as a quarterback requires a regimen of focused drills. Imagine yourself darting through a footwork ladder, honing your agility and balance. Visualize the precision as you target different spots on the field, perfecting your accuracy, and practice decision-making through simulations that replicate in-game scenarios, training your mind to react swiftly under pressure. While we haven't had the chance to sit down with quarterbacks for interviews, we've tapped into the wisdom of experienced coaches who've molded the finest. Coach Ricardo Camacho emphasizes the good habit required to succeed, urging players to immerse themselves in the game. From a coach's point of view, I, you could, it's and my coach would always say it's you have to have a good habit. You know, it's you could show these kids how to play the sport. Uh, you know, doing individual drills, doing hand drills, doing ladders, doing uh, positioning. But if they don't have the habit and they don't have the heart, you can't teach them. That's one of the hardest things to do when it comes to uh, teaching and uh, coaching and even playing. It's those two things you cannot teach is uh, habits and uh, having the heart to play the sport. Definitely. But habits can be developed. Would you agree? I mean, yes, over time. De de definitely. It's once you get, it, it might take a couple of weeks, but once they click and once they understand why we do this, then yes, you can, you can develop that habit. Meanwhile. Coach James Pale underscores the value of embracing mistakes or failures, turning them into stepping stones on the path to greatness. Uh, how can players respond to the mental challenges of injury, criticism, or failure? Ooh. Yeah, so with that one, man, that's a very real thing that happens, right? Uh, and it's tough. Uh, sometimes we'll have a kid who's got a lot of prospects who gets hurt. Um, but what I try to tell the kids is like, it's all part of this thing of dealing with setbacks. Like, how are we gonna, all right, we got hurt or we've got some criticism. Like, how are we gonna deal with that? Really, that's one of the biggest lessons that we could take from this game is like how we respond to adversity. So if we get injured, our response should be, what can I do to get better? If we are facing criticism, our response should be, right? Well, if there's a perceived weakness, what's my evaluation of that? How can I make myself better instead of taking it to the negative, right? Yeah. <laughs> and just going in the tank. Like, I really feel like that's one of the best lessons that we can get from this thing. It's like, hey, things happen in life. You know, you might get injured. You know, you might come across people that got nothing bad, good to say about your game or you as a player. What do we do about it? What do we do right. about it? We have control over what we can control. People are going to say what they want, but I know I can always work on me, right? I don't want effort to be the reason why I'm not considered a good player. Right. Um, and we go from there. We keep on grinding. We keep on getting this much better every day. If we That's do right. that, so we're all in. Your questions are answers. You asked how to enhance your throwing accuracy. Practice makes perfect. Engage in targeted drills to fine-tune your aim. What mental exercises can help with decision-making on the field? When it comes to decision-making, mental exercises can be your secret weapon, enhancing your ability to analyze situations on the fly. How do quarterbacks communicate effectively with the rest of the team? And as for effective communication, quarterbacks must become conductors, orchestrating the symphony of the offense through clear and concise signals. As we wrap up this enlightening journey through the quarterback position, remember that while each position is unique, football is a team sport. Our series continues with deep dives into every position on the field. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join our football community.
and ring the notification bell so you never miss a play. Keep your dreams high and your spirits higher, and we'll catch you on the field. Thank you for joining us today. Stay dedicated, stay focused, and keep the football spirit alive.